Well, everybody, it looks like Maliger is uh, officially gone. Uh, Maliger left on vacation without anybody uh, know. So, yeah, we won't be seeing Maliga until, if I'm correct, July 20th, because that is when the next Beast Moon Monster Mayhem event is, and we don't usually see him in the regular Beast Moon hunt. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Maliga is actually the NPC that will spawn here during the Beast Moon Monster Mayhem event. Basically, if you do all the stages, or if you just do some of the stages, he'll give you some moon, moon gold dust rewards. For basically, they're basically like challenges, basically. So if you clear stage one, he'll give you some moon gold dust, and the same thing for stage two and stage three. He was actually really useful because he kind of helped you gather enough moon gold dust reagents to perhaps maybe craft the, uh, whatchamacallit, the gold beast moon idols. So these moon gold dust are kind of hard to get. You usually get them through the, uh, whatchamacallit, the progress bar. But you only get about like six and so it's always good to have an extra moon gold dust because it requires 10 in total to actually get one of the gold idols so the fact that he isn't here now and there's probably a lot of people finishing the stages kind of sucks and yeah that's kind of unfortunate so yeah um <laughs> there you go but before we get into the video let's talk about the crown shop there's actually a ton of stuff that you can buy if you have the luxury of being the Elon Musk of Wizard 101. First up, we have Throwback Thursday. Now, this is for today only. They brought back some older packs. They brought back the Weaver's Horde pack. They brought back the Raven's Horde pack. And then they brought back the Dragon's Horde pack. Now, this is all 50% off and it's at 150 crowns each. Now, there was actually a new bundle, which isn't in the feature tab. You actually got to do some digging around for it. You got to go into the uh, pets tab. Scroll all the way down until you see the big bundle right here. This is the crawling critters bundle, and it is 28,650. 50 crowns again uh, if you have the luxury to purchase it and you just want to shred some crowns there you go man um this set uh, basically this bundle it comes with the beastmaster set as usual we usually see this with all the pet bundles it gives you a mega snack packs times three of course peruse plentiful pet provisions as well it gives you the bumblebee pet it gives you the pesky beetle pet it gives you the ladybug pet and it gives you the fairy fly pet so yeah you get all those pets in in the bundle um if you guys needed some of these pets especially the bumblebee the pesky beetle and the fairy fly uh, i actually have those available um for you to hatch with all you gotta do is reach out and let me know if you want it instead of spending that large sum of, of crowns believe it or not though people do actually get these crowns you know they've done that in the king ice alive they've done statistical data people actually do buy some of these bundles and packs and whatnot so again you know coming to that little circle of well these bundles are bad but why do they keep pushing it out maybe because people are actually buying them so, yeah, we're probably going to keep seeing them bundles for a while. Now, this is in a crown shop, but the next thing on the list of, whatchamacallit, stuff you can buy is the Cuckoo Clock Gauntlet is back. It's actually a pretty fun gauntlet. I think you can get the Paladin-type pet or something in there. I don't know. It's probably much... I don't know, it's a fun dungeon. So if you want it, I think it's like 40 bucks. So you know how gauntlet bundles are, there you go. It's available in the crown, not crown shop. It's available in the um, Wizard 101 website. And that's for, I think, June 22nd, I believe. So there's that. And then we got the events, of course. We got Beastman Monster Mayhem. There's only four days left for this. And then you got the Summer School of 14 for 73 days. So you got all this stuff happening, yada, yada, yada. Hope everybody is having a good day today. I would love to talk about some main issues about the game this week. But honestly, I decided to let you guys be the uh, judge of that. But 
no, next week, or basically tomorrow, we'll talk more. I will really want a full segment dedicated on all the problems associated with Wiz and stuff like that. Funny thing is, though, I made a funny post on Twitter and Reddit. I, I made it, I think it was, dude, it was like 4 a.m. I was really tired and I was really bored. I made some random Wiz post that says, what opinion of Wiz 101 got y'all acting like this? And wait, y'all gotta see this, dude. The replies were insane. Oh my God, and it was on Reddit too. It was on, it was on Reddit. People wrote down whole paragraphs. I'll show you the ones on Twitter, but dude, there were a lot of comments regarding PvP, PvE, uh, loot boxes, basically the packs in the game, and just everything else. It was like pure chaos in my notifications. There's so many quote we treats, everything. You know what? Actually, I won't show you because then I'll be showing the name. I won't show you, but check out my Twitter. All right, check out my Twitter. Check out my Reddit. And it, dude, it is chaos. I wonder if I can log into my Reddit and I can show you that way, but dude. It was insane. I saw like about a hundred replies, I believe, from that. It, it was just, I don't know. It was like, I've never seen that much stuff happen. You know, I've never seen that many comments. Oh, I gotta log in. I'll log in later. But looking, look, 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 look. A lot of y'all had a lot of stuff to talk about, right? Y'all were kind of crazy in them comments, okay? <laughs> Mainly what I saw from the post I made, especially from Reddit, is that PvP versus PvE. There's the same dilemma with the whole, oh, PvP is better, oh, PvE is better, you know? And we've had that discussion, or we've had that type of thing happen in the game for a while now. For me, personally, I'm just a PvE player. Uh, I mean, I started watching the commercials about Malastare and the Ice Wizard and, like, the Myth Wizard battling, battling Malastare and stuff like that. You know, I've always been invested in the story, but not quite the PvP. I've had played PvP matches with my friends before like ranked ones practice ones even for the practice ones I felt like the practice ones were getting a little too try hard and this was kind of before they had the 20 minute timer and stuff like that but it gets I don't know it just got to the point where it kind of just annoyed me I don't know I'm not really a big fan of the PvP aspect of this game but that doesn't just doesn't mean I don't like competition I mean if you guys see my channel I do play other stuff that is competitive, you know? Apex Legends, Overwatch, you know, some FPS shooters. I'm really competitive in those, but when it comes to turn-based, like, I don't know, Wizard 101, I ain't the best at it. I'm not afraid to lie about that, but I also don't like it in general. The spamming of shields, the weakness, of, you know, the spamming of debuff, the pets, Maycat, it just, I don't know, it just kind of got like a headache. I always considered this game more PvE-based just because I always wanted to work with other wizards. And my main purpose for choosing a life wizard, obviously, was to heal everybody. And my main purpose, I wanted to choose life magic just to heal everyone. But nowadays, you can just wear a life mastering amulet. You can be your own life wizard. And I don't know, it just kind of feels like that diversity of characters and certain schools is out the window, especially with the Mastery Amulets. Obviously, they shouldn't ban Mastery Amulets, but I don't know. If I'm a Life Wizard, I got my healing gear on, but there's like three Ice Wizards or a Death Wizard, and they're all going Jade with a Life Mastery Amulet. I don't know, that kind of gets on my nerves. And we've mentioned that before, I won't keep talking about that, but... Yeah, from what I saw, from all the notifications popping up, especially on Reddit, a lot of people were talking about, you know, PvE, PvP, um, what worlds were better than most. A lot of people didn't like Chrysalis, and I think Avalon, or, no, I think people liked Avalon. I think it was, like, Azteca. A lot of people thought Azteca was long. A lot of people thought Chrysalis was long. It was a big discussion. I'll leave a link to the... Um, Reddit posts and Twitter posts, so you guys can see all the replies and quote retreats and all that stuff from everybody. It was crazy, man. Lots of discussions. I really loved it. One thing I also agree on is that packs are kind of annoying. I don't really like packs in the game. You've seen me open up packs before, but sometimes it can become really predatory. So kids, don't gamble. 
All right, do not gamble. Now, the tomorrow we'll talk more about the discussions we mentioned, all the issues happening. I mean, the first issue is that Maleager is gone from the Beast Moon Mayhem event, so that sucks. But my name is Richard Unicorn Caller, and I will see you guys later. Thank you for watching, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Peace out.